Hey, Canucks fans, there's been a lot of talk about these mysterious new black seats at Rogers Arena. And I was able to talk to some staff members during my visit there last night. It was my annual season ticket member seat reallocation event. Try and say that five times fast. And really, we weren't going to change any of the seats that we had. So I just took the time to buy some new merch and to talk to people. And this is what I found out, what I learned about this new um, venture, these new black seats in the lower bowl of the arena. And everything I've, I, I'm going to say in this video, it's being corroborated or at least it's being confirmed by at least one, if not two other sources. And, and Canucks staff members were freely talking about this. So I don't think I'm, I'm sharing anything that's secretive or that's not supposed to be shared. So let's get into it right away. So I'll, I'll read you my tweet first and then I'll show you the pictures. I said this, here's the scoop. Row 7 to 10 in section 3, 117 will be the new VIP seating, total of 60 seats. Access to a fancy restaurant underneath the seats. You can view the Canucks players in the tunnel. So picture a glass on both sides of the tunnel and then, I guess, um, uh, tables on either side. And you can see the players as they make their way from the dressing room out to the bench and vice versa if you're, if you're down there during the end of a period. I don't know why you'd be. But basically, you can see the players walk to the benches through the tunnel dedicated entrance for vips only and then access to all events in the arena i.e hockey concerts etc so i took a few pictures i'm going to show you them really quickly so this is what the three pictures look like and then i'll kind of explain what's going on in each of these these three pictures so the first picture this is taken basically from section 117 row three so it's basically standing at the glass looking up so this technically is row four here. This is row five. This is row six. So what you're looking at is row seven, eight, nine, and 10. And those are the black seats you see there. And what you can see is there are six of them here. One, two, three, four. Actually, I should, we go left, right here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then above that, there's another uh, eight. There's one that you can't see over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same up here, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then above that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I, I missed this one. There's another one over there, but basically, oh yeah, here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what you have are three rows of eight, that makes 24, plus a row of six, that makes 30. 24 plus six is 30. So picture these 30. And then on the other side of this aisle of 117, there's another 30. They're not in place yet. So those are the 60 VIP seats. So of the black seats, you can see that they are cushiony. They are bigger. They have cup holders. And you can see that better on this picture. So right now, they've only installed a cup holder here as, as, as a test that you can see. But all these seats will have cup holders. So again, here's the six on the bottom. This is row seven. Then there's three rows of eight, row eight, as you can see there, row nine and row 10. And that's basically section 117. Where section 116 starts is there's kind of a small gap you see, and you see another 10 chairs, 10 chairs, 10 chairs. Yes, they're black, but they're not as cushiony. You can see they don't have the divots and they likely, I'm not sure if they're gonna have cup holders or not, but the point is the VIP are, are kind of in the middle of these 60 and then there's 10, 10, 10, and another 10. There's another 40 over there that aren't VIP. And then what you see here is this is the entrance that only those 60 VIP people will be able to um, will be able to use. So picture this, they're they're carving this out now. You go down, you will walk here, you'll go down, and then it'll lead to the tunnel and then and the the fancy restaurant, whatever that's going to be. Whereas everyone else from 11 all the way to row 11 all the way to row 25 and even rows six five four three below it doesn't go to two and one because that's where the the penalty boxes are the benches are i can't remember what side this is on um yeah the, the bench side then what you'll see there is you will see um basically even rows three four five and six they don't get to use this they have to walk around it and go all the way up and use the regular exit and entrance whereas this is only for the 60 VIPs. So they're building that right now. So I think uh, of the three pictures, this one kind of shows you from the glass, looking up what it's gonna look like. And then this one from the side kind of shows you 
how uh, the difference between the VIP seats and the regular black seats. Now, the one thing that I got uh, differing info on, well, actually, before I get to that, so the cost of these, um, they're pretty expensive. Um, I, I don't know for sure, but I've been told that, and this isn't actually from a Canucks staff member, but from a, a fellow fan who talked to Canucks staff members, it, it basically, it's $75,000 a seat for three years. So basically, um, you'd have to commit to a three-year um, contract and then all these seats are $75,000 for the three years. Not $75,000 a year, but $75,000 for the three years. So if you want a pair of seats, obviously do the math. That's $150,000 for a pair for those three years. Now, apparently it, the non-aisle seats are $75,000 for three years, but then the aisle seats are $85,000 a seat for three years. So you can't have a pair of aisle seats. Well, not to next to each other, unless you, you go one in front of the other. I don't know why you do that. And then it's 170,000 for, but easier way to think of this. One seat, I'll see 85,000 for three years. And then anything that's non owl is 75,000. So basically $10,000 over three years um, just to have the aisle seat. I don't know. I, I'd go past that one person just to save 10,000 over three years, but that's just me. So the other thing that I guess um, I heard differing info on, or I mean, the one thing I heard differing info on, I was told that basically from row 10, which is the back of these blacks, all the way down to, like I said, row three, those would be blacks converted to black seats for the season. But I've heard uh, another person who I, I spoke to who was there, their rep told them that all the way to the back of this entire 117 section. So remember, this is cut and cut in half. So picture this cut in half down here. They said all 117 is going to be these black seats, hopefully by the start of the season. So remember, 117 is this half here and then the exact same on the other side. So picture two kind of half sections making one full 117 those will be all black and then i'm not sure if half of 116 leading to the aisle over here and then half of 118 also goes full black so that i'm not sure why my watch is talking to me so that's i did not hear that that's what another person heard from their rep is that definitely 117 all the way to the back to row 25 plus probably half of 116 and half of 118 to make it um you know uh equal to make it uh, centered those might be black seats as well. And then what I've heard from a couple of people is the plan is over three years that all of the seats in Rogers Arena will be changed from these uh, red maroonish type seats to these black seats. Probably only those 60, the, the really cushiony black seats that you see here with the double divots. And then everyone else will have these black seats but uh, the arena i think will look a lot nicer and a lot more modern and maybe even more intimidating to play in if they're uh, full of black seats as opposed to maroon red seats so canucks fans there's a first a sneak peek a look at what we know of these new black seats a 60 seat vip area with its own entrance here and then um access to a fancy restaurant and access to the players indeed walking through the tunnel to and from the bench area. So let me know what you think. Um, you, if you let me know if you're planning on buying one of these seats, I doubt it, but I'm not here to judge. I know I'm not going to, but uh, maybe this is something that you're very interested in. Maybe you're very, you're just happy that they're going to be changing all the seats eventually within three years to a different color. Maybe you think it's going to look goofy. Maybe you think it's a cash grab maybe you think this is really good for the team because this is the way that a lot of arenas especially the new arenas are going we see it in seattle and we see it in other arenas across the league where they have kind of vip sections or sections where where you can have a different type of access and different type of sight lines whatever it may be so canucks fans let me know in the chat what you think of this plan and maybe uh, let me know if you've heard similar things or you've actually heard some other info that i didn't cover in this video as always a shout out to my sponsors van city experts real estate and perform transform personal training weight loss thank you legendary lucas gates legendary just incredible legendary carol bovenlander legendary andrew chang hall of fame and franchise members as well thanks for your support always appreciate you never take you for granted and to everyone else watching out there thank you for your support as well as always uh stay safe uh, like this video subscribe 
leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership, and definitely leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this news and whether or not you knew some of this stuff already. Okay, now for real, stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless, and go Canucks go.